TW30. Now to the latest on the Alex Murdaugh trial and a big decision from the judge allowing testimony about the accused double murderer's finances, a key part of the alleged motive. And one of Murdaugh's former colleagues at his law firm actually took the stand today. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. For the first time, jurors in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial hearing testimony about his alleged financial fraud. If a law partner were to divert fees to himself personally and not send them to the law firm, what would that be? Stealing. Prosecutors say the once prominent lawyer secretly stole millions of dollars from clients and his law firm in South Carolina for about a decade, and that the threat of those crimes being exposed drove him to kill his wife and son in 2021, a key theory in the prosecution's case. Case. They allege he wanted to buy time and gain sympathy for their deaths to divert attention from his financial fraud. The law firm's longtime CFO taking the stand, saying she confronted him about missing legal fees hours before the murders. But after... We were just worried about his sanity, so we weren't going to go in there and harass him about money when we were worried about his mental state. At the time of the murders, Murdoch was dazed from a civil court hearing about his finances. He's charged but has not been tried with a range of about 100 other financial crimes, including theft, tax evasion, and insurance fraud, as well as allegedly trying to arrange his own death so his surviving son could collect $10 million in life insurance. Prosecutors say Murdoch also stole over $4 million from an insurance claim that should have gone to his housekeeper's relatives after she died at work. Murdoch has pled not guilty in this double murder trial. His defense team saying it's absurd to think that Murdoch would believe having his family brutally killed would do anything but bring scrutiny to every nook and cranny of his life. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.